Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I create my personalized MailChimp email. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can also use Canva, which is a free tool that you can find online. Okay, when you first open Photoshop, you're going to get the option of picking kind of size. With Canva, it's a different format, but you do get to pick the size that you want for your canvas. When it comes to emails, especially MailChimp emails, the largest size you can get is 1200. I personally, that's what I choose. I prefer to have the largest size possible. It gives you more room to be able to design and figure out things when you have a little bit more space. Once you open up your thing, you're going to be able to see that it's a complete square. You can actually change the sizing of it whenever you go to the crop tool. Crop tool is not only good for tightening up things, you can also lengthen it. So you'll see this black area. You can actually go to the paint bucket tool, press white, and then you just click the black area and it all becomes white. It's all in the background so it now becomes one complete image. Now what you can do is start actually designing your email. For me, I've decided to have a dark green looking box right behind and then I'm going to add one of the photos of my own print. When it comes to too many photos on an email, it'll be tagged as spam. So I try and make sure that I at least have quite a bit of other areas so right now I'm just adding in the small portion of photos I'm not gonna add in any kind of text to it instead I'm going to go into MailChimp later and add the text and all of that so it is less likely to be marked as spam which everyone knows is not a great thing for your emails because it will get lost into the abyss now I'm just shortening up what I had previously lengthened you don't want too much white space because you can't actually add text over it so you really have to think about your composition of the email what I normally do is go on Pinterest get a few ideas of different types of emails to use and then kind of go from there now this completes the design for this very top one what I'm going to do is export it and then I'm going to start this new one this one is going to be just kind of the three most recent Instagram pictures that I have by the time this email actually goes up it won't be completely accurate but it does show just kind of what to expect off of my Instagram and it brings an interest for people who want to go and follow now I'm really big with things looking really cohesive especially on something like a news feed so I'm going to use the same color kind of bluish green that I used in the last one with the picture overlay and I'm going to crop just enough to where there's enough white around it so any text that I would add in MailChimp won't get too close to it now we're going to go over to MailChimp and finish off the entire email and you can see it all be put together and kind of give you a better idea of how to create your own custom email. So once you get into MailChimp you go to the campaigns button and then I pick all campaigns. I'm already on the page so I don't have to click anything but in the top right corner you can see create campaigns. You click that and then you get an option of a bunch of different types so you can do email, add, a landing page, a survey, you can do social post, a sign up, and you can make postcards. For today we're just going to use email. Next is going to make you do a title. I personally am just going to put the date that I'm going to publish this. But you can put whatever helps you remember what this email is for. Sometimes I put the August newsletter, sometimes I put the date, it kind of just depends what's in the email and what works best for you. Now the next page is going to be who you're sending this to. I personally send it to all of my subscribers. Next is going to be the from. It's automatically going to say your name or your company's name and then the email in which it will send from. And then subject, this is what people see in their inbox. 
So something that will catch their attention, that'll make them click. Um, I suggest sometimes using an emoji. Just one is good. Two if you're feeling a bit crazy. But overall, putting too many emojis, it'll be marked as spam. And it doesn't always look the greatest. Now the preview tag is something that will be right underneath the subject. This one, I put something about the sale that I'm doing, kind of reiterating the subject. Get somebody a little bit interested if they're hesitant after reading the title. Next, this is where we can actually start the design and start customizing. Now, I'm on the free program, which works for me because of how custom I make these. So I just go to the basic, I click the first one. And really by the end of it, I pretty much delete all of the previously added things. So for me, I delete the logo. I personally prefer to just type out my logo. I have a font that work, that looks the exact same as my logo. So I just add in a text box, delete what's already pre there, type in the name of my business, I center it. I change the font and I change the size to work with what I want the email to look like. Now I just go ahead and delete that lower text box. I'm going to add in the image and this is going to be the first image that we had made. Once it loads it automatically jumps onto your feed. And then you can kind of preview, see how it's looking. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the sizing of the logo, so I may change that later. Um, right underneath this, I want to add text. So I'm going to go to the text button, just drag and drop right underneath, and then this is where you can type in any kind of information. If you have new products coming out, if maybe you want their feedback, if in this case you have a sale going on just saying a little bit more okay after I'm done typing all of that out I just center it now I'm going to add a button this is going to be the part where I advertise about the sale that I'm having so this button is the code for the sale so what I'm going to do is type in the code here. In reality, I'd actually put what the code is, but in this case, I kind of want to keep a little bit of privacy for the people who are actually in my newsletter so you don't get the code. Now you can go to style and actually change the color of the button. I personally want everything to be really cohesive and I want it to be this greeny blue color that all the rest have. The only thing with MailChimp is you actually have to use this little slider. So it takes me a little bit to be able to find exactly the color that I need. I kind of play around with it, look at it. I like to have the color that I'm going for also in view so I can kind of match the two as close as possible. Now I'm going to add another text box and this is going to be the one that showcases the most recent Instagram photos. And you don't have to put your most recent Instagram photos, it's just what I had chosen to do. And they happen to also work and look good with that greeny blue that I have throughout. So this is what it looks like completely. And then right here I'm going to add just kind of a disclaimer of how long the sale lasts. That way there's no confusion or surprises if they try to use the code and it doesn't work for whatever reason. And now I'm going to kind of scroll up right above the code and add another little text box. This is going to be a little bit larger. It's going to say the percentage that people are going to get for the discount. I'm going to make it just bold. I'm going to center it. And for this, I kind of play around with the colors. I kind of ended up deciding that I'd prefer it to just be the greeny blue that matches everything else. 
when originally I kind of thought that maybe the peach in the photo right in the center below the 50 could work but it just looked a little odd to me everything is your preference this is just what I chose for this particular one and now the final part is the social links so for my company I use Instagram Facebook and then the website that's just what I'm linking up right now with MailChimp which I find really nice the footer part so it's all kind of the legal stuff they automatically add all of that in there so you don't have to touch the footer it's absolutely fine I do wish that I could color code the social links but I have yet to figure it out if someone else knows how to do it but I think it's just one of those things they're gonna say those colors which is fine now that your email is completely done you can actually go up to the top press preview and then in the very first one is email preview mode you click that one and then you get the choice between desktop mobile or inbox if you do not have the paid MailChimp service you won't be able to see the inbox one I personally just like seeing how it look on mobile because that's what a lot of people view their emails on so you can kind of scroll up and down make sure everything is exactly how you want make sure there's no misspellings everything's correct and of course if you do have a discount make sure that the discount works when you are sending it out it's probably the most important part and you'll be able to select finish later schedule which is only if you have the paid subscription or you can press send which will send it immediately to all of your subscribers that is how I make my own custom MailChimp I hope it helped and I will see you in the next video